Hello, for those of you who don't know, my name is Ronald Trump. I'm running for student body president. My uncle Donald running for president. We wanted to come to you today and say, Merry Christmas. Simple, right? So simple, but no one's saying it anymore. Starbucks is taking it off the cups. And you know, my family owns one of the biggest Starbucks right there on Wall Street. That's the end of that lease right there. Merry Christmas, and while we're on the topic, if you're still looking for a gift, I've got a great idea. Why not get my uncle's book, Crippled America? Uh, this is a great book, best-selling book, one of the top best-seller political books of all time, if not the number one. I haven't checked the numbers. It's it's up there. It's always up there, and all his books are. It's a, it's a thin book, which is what I love, and the price is right, $13.59. Pick it up at any bookstore, online, or Costco. I mean, if you ask me, it could add a few more zeros. It'd still be worth it, but, you know, $1,300. Some people can't afford that. I can. I can afford that quite easily, but not everyone can. And uh, this book is very easy to pick up, very hard to put down. Very hard to put down. I mean, rumor has it Hillary Clinton was reading this in the bathroom, and that's why she was late getting back to her podium for the Democratic debate. And I mean, that's disgusting if you think about it. You know, she's in the bath. That's your excuse. You're in the bathroom, and we all know when a woman's in the bathroom that long, it can only mean so many things, and we don't want to go there. Um... Is this what our leadership has come to? Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to put her in office? Putin's on the phone. She's like, hold on, I'm on the toilet. Let me call you back. No. You need an honest person. And who could be more honest than my uncle? You know, he had thousands of better pictures he could have used. I was there at the photo shoot. He's so handsome. So many great pictures. But he chose this one looking miserable because it's about crippled America. The face matches the title. And that's what we need to fix. And we're going to. So please vote for me, student body president. Vote for my uncle for president, pick up the book, and let's make America great again, 2016, and let's all start saying Merry Christmas again. Merry Christmas. This is by far, without a doubt, the best book I have ever read, and I'm still on the table of contents.